Good evening. A bloody rampage today in Smithville. Two people shot dead, a third wounded, and rushed to the hospital. Smithville police trying to learn how it all went down. KXAN's Angie Bevins has been working the scene and spoke with a man who helped one of the victims. Uh, me and my son were out here in the backyard just doing some gardening stuff. We both heard pow, pow, pow. David Ebner looked across the street and watched as this truck accelerated across the alley behind the 7-Eleven and crashed into the wall of a church. He ran over and did what he could to help the man in the driver's seat who'd been shot. And I took off my shirt to put pressure on the wounds. Uh, at that, that time, I noticed two on his arm and one in his lower back. Police and medics showed up and gave the man CPR, but he died. The shooter had driven off. Next, Smithville police were called out to this home on Bunty Street. Earlier this afternoon, officers had this whole area blocked off as they investigated another shooting. That was just 10 minutes after the shooting outside of the convenience store. At the home, police found the man suspected of the 7-Eleven shooting dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Officers also found a woman who'd been shot multiple times. She was flown to an Austin hospital. Police say those two were married. It's like, Lord, what's going on here? You know, this is too close for, for comfort. It's a life-changing experience no matter which way you look at it. Investigators say they're still piecing together the connection between the couple and the man killed at the 7-Eleven. In Smithville, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. Well, the wounded woman has had surgery. She's in stable condition at this hour. The married couple had children, and they are being cared for by relatives tonight.